check out Boxo. Best uh, tools in the uh, in the business for sure. Whatever you need, they got you covered. Uh, incredible warranty program. Uh, I love their style, their feel. Their um, they they've got you all outfitted at with their OSM program or OSM yeah. setup. Uh, if you if you want a full setup in your garage, you can do that. Um, I know I talk about it every single weekend, but go uh, go check out uh, Monster Energy Star Yamaha's setup. They uh, they use all Boxo stuff. I think you guys would be pretty surprised so uh consider them for sure um that leads us to the um mxon team so right. we know that we know that um we know ap is going which is awesome captain america uh <laughs> we know that yeah <laughs> we know uh chase sexton chase sexton's going who's going to be the uh Third guy, is it going to, Deegan's not going. So is it going to be Levi or is it, is it going to be Chance? Well, I'll, bl I'll blow the cap off the top of this one. I believe it's uh, Chance Hymas hasn't been, hasn't been, um, hasn't been stated yet publicly. Um, I'll be the first one to, to, to throw it out there. Um, that's what we're hearing um, is Chance. Um, I think we have a great team. You know, I, this, this event, I know it's a real pain um, from, from a travel at, uh, point of view from getting motorcycles and, you know, the whole team and, and, and shipping, you know, bikes over there. And, but there's, there is, there is no other race, um, like MXON, you know, Ricky, you were, you, we were able yep. to be teammates. Uh, I've done it, you know, you've done it three or four times. I've done it three or four times. Yep. Um, it is a very, very, very special event. And, you know, it's these guys. I think we we have a really really strong team. We're going over to Matterly again this year. Um, you and, and I will be there, by the way. We will be there. Yes. Yeah. So, I think we we have a good shot, right? We have a good shot. We need to keep our heads on straight. We need to um, obviously a little bit of luck in our corner is always always helpful when you're when you're across the pond racing um, in Europe on on completely different track setups th than ours and. And, and, and programs, you know, just the way they run their program is completely different. So for, for anybody that as, as racers, for anybody that hasn't gone, it's, it's a bit of a, it's a, it's a quick learning curve you need to have. Um, but there's, like I said, there is not a specialer race than, than MXON. Yeah, it is. I, um, so I, I've shared the story before, but to your point about just the pride, um, and, and I feel like that race kind of changed a little bit when 9-11 happened when we didn't go and then i think in 2002 it was it was kind of like up in the air and i don't think we went in 02 either and from that point on i and the reason that i can talk about this is because i was on it on the side of when it was you wanted to be picked going back to what i was going to tell you dude in 1997 like my goal was and i was winning the championship the 125 championship at the time I wanted to be picked for the team so bad. Like I'm like, man, if I could be picked for the team, uh, that would be like a huge check mark, right? That's just to give you an example of what it was like back then and what it was kind of like when you were racing. And I don't feel like it's that as much for majority of the riders these nope. days. Um, you know, I, I'm not saying I, I wish there was more pride on the line. I know that we live in a different world now. It's 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 definitely a different dynamic. I think yes. you know, it costed a lot of money to go there for the teams back then when you and I were racing. It's just, dude, we live in a different world. But I do agree with you. If you get ever get a chance to go, I think all young kids coming up and all the riders, majority of the riders in the paddock, it, it should if they have the opportunity to do it, they should they should take it and they shouldn't turn it down because it's just uh something so incredible does the travel uh is it not ideal of course it's not but when you get up there and if you had the opportunity to be on that podium even if you don't win it's pretty it's pretty special and something that you'll be able to carry with you for a very very long time in my opinion yeah i 100 percent agree the memories and what what you yeah. experience over there you know like I, I i'll be honest now i think it's a it's a it's not going to hinder him, but I think the, the, the outcome of, of Hayden, uh, going, if he were to go now, I don't know the logistics. I don't know why he's not going. Is it, is it a decision from a personal decision from him? Is it a team decision? You know, all these, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of, um, unknowns that we don't know about, but I can I promise you that 
if with the way Hayden's riding and, 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 you know, let's, uh, his mentality and, and, you know, um, him going over to that stage and being able to win the, the 250 class or, and then also, you know, if they could, if he could be on a, the a team USA winning team, um, I think is a massive feather in his cap. I think this is a missed opportunity to, to keep his brand and build his, or sorry, not keep, but build his brand even bigger to the, to that next level. Um, as we all know, the Europeans are, are crazy, crazy two wheel motorsports fans. And, oh. and Hayden's got a massive following here in, in the U S um, and I can promise you, he's got a massive, probably a bigger following in, in Europe. So I think it's a total missed opportunity um, by him, by him not going. Now, like I said, I don't know the logistics. I don't know why he's, you know, a personal decision, race team decision, whatever the case may be. But that's a huge feather in his cap that he's not going to have um, on, on a 250. So I think it's a, I think it's a bad move um, that he's not going. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, I can tell you that the memories that I have from MXON, I mean, I think it's still the most talked about e race or event in my entire career, um, which was Bud's Creek with yourself. Oh, yeah. dude, uh, you dominated, dude. Um, Tim Ferry as our, as our open class rider. Um, and then, you know, I've raced Matterly at St. John Angeli. Uh, <clears throat> I think another one in England too. So all of those events that I did for MXON are, are, if I, I would say they trump most of the championships I have here in the United wow. States, just because of what it, it means to go there and to be a part of it. And, and, and sure, we all want to be on the, on the winning team, but you know, it's racing shit happens. And, uh, and with Hayden's ability, I think that regardless of team, you say winning or not winning, I think he wins the, he has a very, very good shot at winning the, the overall in that 250 class. Well, mm -hmm. like I said, which will put a huge feather in his cap, but uh, we won't see that. I don't think. No, um, I, 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 I respect uh, Eli. Eli came out and totally. Uh, yeah, he needs, you know, he needs another, uh, you know, needs some more time. I appreciate that. Um, I think he would have got the job done. I seriously do, based on the improvement that he made um, from the first weekend back to the second weekend back. I, I just think I, I was like blown away from Buds to, to Iron Man was an incredible turnaround. So I think with having the SMX playoffs, getting through that, that championship, I just think that, and then the intensity that you have to have in SMX, I think that really would have been a nice warm up there, but I understand what he's, he's coming off of, off of also. And I think that uh, there's a good chance it might rain over there. As you know, I think that'll fit, <laughs> right. I think that, but I think that'll fit right into uh, AP's, AP's hand. So, yep. uh, and, and, uh, and honestly, I'm surprised, like, that's a tough call going back to the 250 and, and Hymas going over Kitchen. Weird, like, they both are deserving of that, of that, mm. decision, for sure. I wonder how, how the decision from not picking Kitchen and going to Chance came about. Not so I don't, I don't know. I mean, if I'm Team USA, right, if I'm, if I'm the decision maker here. Yeah, um, if you're the team, what are you doing if you're team manager? Like, who are you taking? uh between levi and and chance um i mean they both have their their faults right they, their their issues um but i just think that um you know they're both going to be caught off guard meaning just 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 going over there racing the time change the schedule the food there's just every everything about it is is a big big learning curve um and i love levi i'm a levi fan um I, you know, there's a lot of things that happen in, in, at, at this event that, that never happen in the U S right. And, and from, from mistakes to, to just not riding and, and, and performing to, to your ability. Um, and I think that chance is a good pick. I'm not saying Levi wouldn't be a good pick, um, to go over for the 250 class, but you need to pick somebody that is super, super solid. You know, you only get to throw away one moto. That's mm -hmm. it. And, you know, um, I've been on teams in the past that we had to, you know, we wish we could have threw away two motos, right? Like I, I think St. John Blake ended up in the, in, out in the banners and they don't have typical banners like we have in the States. It's like no. this mesh material that will, will just, will stop a motorcycle. And you're, if you get it wrapped in your wheel, you're done. You're literally done. Um, and that's what happened to Blake, but he had two, 
two bad motos and me and Dunge had to carry the team. Um, you know, so there's just a lot of weird things that happen at this event. So you want to bring solid and consistent riders, but also have speed. So, dude, you know what? Like I always felt when I raced the motocross of nations RV is I always felt like dudes from other countries, like mostly like from the MXGP side. Yeah. I always felt like they rode harder at that race. I'm like, dude, totally. dude like isn't even in the top 10 in the MXGP, but the guy is like running you down for P1. <laughs> in the race. I, I, so I, we talked about that. I talked about that with somebody this, this past week was, you, uh, you know, there's off. a, there's a lot of, a lot of, you know, Glenn Koldenoff, uh, yeah. good day. Um, there's a hand, I mean, I'm missing a, t a handful of them, but that's some of their, best performances all year is at mxon and part of it's a pride thing i think that they that they that they're they're very patriotic for the country and and they want to put it on the they want to ride the to the best of their ability and i'm not saying we don't either right like we go over there to 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 represent our country and the, to do the best that we can but um to your point um there's the, it, that brings the best out of the european riders and as okay. For as being from the United States, uh, we, you know, win or lose in the years past, we always have a target on our back because we are at the top of the pedestal. You know, we have, we have supercross, which is, which is by far the biggest of, of our motorsports is, is supercross. And then it goes pro motocross and, or SMX, then pro motocross and then MXGP. Right. So, um, you know, if any, are you any, any of these Europeans can have a chance at riding supercross or are good at it, right? We, we get those riders here, just like we've saw, we have Prado coming over. We have Vial now we have Kenny. Um, you know, there's, there's a handful of riders that have, and also X riders that have come over because this is the platform they all want to be on. Yeah, totally. Uh, I, I'm glad you felt that. I'm glad you, you, you see it that way too. Cause I always felt that way. They used to, I don't know why, but it was such a pet peeve of mine. I'm like, dude, you are nowhere to be found in MXGP series. And like, I can't, you're like, I can't even, I can't even break you right now. It's just like, ah, get out of here, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's changed a lot because, um, you know, back when we were going yeah, and, and even, you know, even probably, I, I, I mean, I saw it, I, I'd show up and you, you, you know, we all show up with with painted helmets and, and representing the flag and, and, you know, always looking super, super tight. And, and, uh, you'll have a cue ball helmet, a white one or a, or a, or an eight ball helmet rolling by you, uh, which hey. is just, a, it's a black awry helmet or a black sh or, or a white showy helmet with nothing on it. And, uh, and the dudes run it like top five. Hey, and, like, dude, what you like common, uh, chest protectors tucked <laughs> underneath their Jersey, dude. Like, yeah, totally guys just blowing by you. <laughs> but it's changed a lot it's changed a lot there there you know the the that was then now you don't see it much of those cue balls or if, no. if at all anymore. it's it's they've stepped their program up a lot yeah they, they they have they have well i think the mxon team is going to be uh i think it'll be good i think they got a legit shot of winning 100 i mean you, you know the strategy there i don't want to give out all of our secrets you and i've yeah. talked about it a million times because <laughs> we don't want to make help other other countries win but uh, i think that uh each rider is well deserving of it i think if they go out and, and ride their best i think they have a really good shot or just as better of a shot to win that uh win that trophy uh as any other country so uh yeah. congratulations it's an honor to uh race for your country so everybody make sure you guys tune in hi folks lee diffie from nbc sports here if you truly enjoyed what you just watched you can get more news interviews and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.